After our first four games at Northern Illinois, we started to settle in and establish our presence at the college level. Even though we've made a few mistakes, the potential for greatness was shown throughout and the quest for becoming the greatest white cornerback continues. Bruh, did y'all see that gameplay deep dive video for the new college football game dropping? Whew, it's, going, it's, it's looking pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, because once that football game drops, I'm dropping banger after banger after continuous bangers. So like the video, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But back to our current college football game we're playing. As you see, your boy became starter, cornerback number one on the team, and we're going against Kent State here, who has a currently a better record than us. But since we already had our bye, they played an extra game than us, and we're about to bust their ass this game. So just stay tuned and watch. As on third and seven, oh my God, how my teammates give up that catch through the middle. And then on first and 10, I'm locked in on my guy, but my teammates clearly aren't locked in on theirs. And then on third and goal, we see the option play from a mile away, and we get on that. And then now on fourth and goal, they decide to go for it, which is crazy. And you know I'm there to make that big play and big stop right there. Connor McDuffie, my boy, going off already in this first quarter of this early game. Let's go. Sadly, though, our offense couldn't capitalize off of that turnover we just forced right there. So we're back on defense here, and look at me getting blocked crazy by that receiver. And then on third and three... Oh my gosh, my teammate just dropped the interception. That could have been beautiful. And then they go for the field goal and miss that shit. Wow. Now we're back on defense. Next possession here. Score still ties at 0-0. But the defensive drive starts out to a bad start as we give up an 11-yard run by the running back. Followed by their quarterback running into the red zone area. And then now on first and 10, we finally get a nice stop. Forcing a sack right there. Bringing it to a second and 17. But their running back basically just picks up all those yards back. Bringing it to a 32, and then they just run straight up the middle, picking up that easy touchdown. But thankfully, the boys on the offensive side of our team came out to play as we're currently up 13 7, and we pick up a stop right there with a nice sack on first down. And then on second down, they get all these yards back and more, basically bringing the ball to midfield. And then on second and six, we get an interception. We caught the QB lacking. Them boys should have just needed to have time. And look at that boy, Connor McDuffie, go. He had the lurk of death. Oh, man. I just wish we were faster, had faster acceleration and speed. And we could have possibly took that to the house. And we leave that half with zero points off of my turnover because we had no time left. Man, that sucks. Sucks. That's a bad feeling. But we're still up, though. And as long as we get this W, I can't be too mad. And then now on defense here, second and four, I had to make the tackle because I clearly can't count on my D-line or linebackers to do it. And then on second and eight here, my outside cornerbacks are just getting targeted and battered this whole game. And then on first and 10 here, I get a little too cocky and confident thinking I could go for the sack there, giving up my outside containing leverage and letting the QB basically almost make it to the end zone right there. Jesus, that was a terrible play by me. And that fatal and rookie mistakes leads to an eventual touchdown by the opposing team. Now we're down one point here, back on the field on this first and 10, and their running game is just going crazy today as they pick up another 15-yard rush right there. And on first and 10, they're just, they're just hitting us on both sides, bro. The run and pass is going off today as our defense is looking very lackluster besides my one interception and few big sacks by D-line. Now on first and 10, their QB just runs up to the middle. Oh my gosh, why is there not a contain on him as they end up getting that field goal right there? But their happiness wouldn't last long as we eventually ended up getting a touchdown and winning the game 20 to 17. And some way, somehow, I didn't get player of the game even though I had a crazy interception and a tackle for loss and three other tackles with that. But uh, it's, it's cool though, you feel me? It's cool though. I'm, I'm a little tight, but uh, I'll get over it. As we're now facing the Akron Zips in our sixth game of the season. And they make an interesting choice to run the ball here on third and 18. Disregard me missing that tackle though. Like, that don't matter. But now in our next defensive position right here, second and 10. I see that running back. I'm trying to make a play and I get that tackle. But he got way too many yards off that as he picked up 16. But now here on this next play, my teammate was there to get the kill shot right there. Bring it to a second and 15. And then on this option play, I forced the fumble and my teammates pick it up. Oh my gosh, look at how beautiful this play unfolded as instead of going for the QB or the running back, I just went through the middle and got that ball, forcing that fumble right there. Wait, we didn't even we didn't even recover it? The other team still got the ball back, but it's cool though as we get the stop right there, forcing them to kick the ball, and we're currently up 13-0. Back on defense on this next defensive possession. Second and inches, they give it to the running back, and I miss another tackle. God damn, this can't keep happening. This can't keep happening. 
But now on second and one here, I'm jamming up my receiver right here as they choose to go to the other side on the option play, picking up that easy first down. And then on first and 10 on this phone win play, I'm running to the opposite side of the field, trying to get a play, trying to get into all the havoc and madness going on. And then their quarterback just walks right into the end zone and there was nothing I could do. But our offense picks up another seven points, bringing us back onto the field. And then on first and 10, my teammate catches an interception, giving us the ball back. And then now in the second half here, we got them pinned near their own end zone. And we're getting key stops, forcing this second and 14, where I just got ran the fuck over. Oh my gosh. Why he do me like that? Why? Nah, we got to get in the great room and get bigger. Is there a strength attribute or some shit? I got to upgrade my shit all the way max. Because we can't let that slide as you make a tackle right there. And then on first and 10, the receiver picks up a big chunk of yards right there. And I have to question if my teammates are sleeping on defense. And I might have to question myself too as I miss another tackle on defense. When will the pain and suffering end as their QB tries to test me on defense? But thankfully their man got butterfingers. And then they try to test me again. And he still can't catch the ball. Nigga, you're wide open. But now on 3rd and 10 here, they get the first down as my teammates were sleeping on defense. And on 3rd and 22, I'm locked in on my mans. Please get a stop defense. And we finally do get a sack, getting the ball back to the offense, and then getting the ball back to us as our offense could have capitalized. And look at us getting stops, forcing this 3rd and 5 right here as their QB makes the right play, hitting that underneath route, getting them a 14-yard gain right there. And then on 2nd and 10, I'm on my mans. I'm on that. That's clamped. And then the D-line finally break down and clobber the O-line, getting to the QB. And on 3rd and 16, we're on that as I'm getting blocked. We're on that. Forcing the force and 7. They decide to go for it. I'm on my mans. It's my teammates on theirs as they hit the other deep route. But we still get there in time, forcing the turnover. And then now, with under 2 minutes remaining, they're down by 10. We're up by 10. I'm getting tested again, but you know we're there this time. D-B-U, forcing that incomplete pass right there. And then they have to hit the underneath route because they can't hit shit on me on the outside. Come on, man. Straight clampy dampies on that. And on first and 10 here, I see the lurk and I see that ball. Get that shit to me, nigga. Let's take it to the crib. We out. We out. We out. No way this white boy catches me. And he does. Am I that slow? Am I that slow? But it's cool, though. As you see, my boy Connor McDuffie. Oh my god, that was a beautiful lurk right there. And then he tried to put the burners on, but that kid is just not fast enough yet. That 84 speed needs to be upgraded as soon as possible. But that's how the game ends. And we somehow don't get the player of the game, even though we had the game ceiling interceptions and then two tackles on top of that. But it's cool though, as we're traveling to Central Michigan to play the Chippewas at their stadium, first and 10 here on defense, we clobber in on our running back, forcing a three yard loss. They make up for it though, gaining 10 plus yards on the next play, then forcing a third and three. I'm on my mans, got him clamped up. No one was open, which left the QB with no choice but to take the underneath route, which got blown up, forcing a seven yard loss. Offense didn't do anything, so we're back on defense here. First and 10, everything's covered nicely, but the middle, which leads to a six yard gain right there. And then that leads to the offense just driving down the field on us, getting five plus yard pass plays, Besides this run play, which I hope stop it from being a big gain. And then on third and two, QB just dots up the middle again. Like I told y'all, he was just going to keep driving down the field on us. And on first and goal, do the same thing, hit the middle, and get that touchdown. Now they're up on us, 7-0. Offense didn't do anything. It's nearing the end of the first half. And these boys are still just being us up on the pass defense. But thankfully, on this next play right here, our D-line helped slow them down with the sack. Forcing a seven yard loss right there. And then on third and 17, with less than 20 seconds and a half, he takes a check down, and I'm there for the tackle, stopping that possession. Now, in the second half here, second and nine, I see what they're trying to do, and I'm on that, and I sniff that out completely, getting that tackle right there. And then on third and 10, I see another play, and I make the tackle, forcing the end of that drive. Fast forward a little bit to the fourth quarter here. We're up seven points, 14 to 17, and that boy just ran straight by me. Wow. Then they catch us lacking on the screen pass right here, picking up a nice, decent chunk of yards right there. And then on second and four, the QBs force to throw the ball away because of the tight coverage me and my teammates are playing as I get beat on this slant play. And then put no effort and let myself get blocked on this play. 
I just know Coach is going to go off on me when we watch this back on film. As on first and 10 here, I come up and make a play, forcing that zero yard rush right there. And on second and 10, my teammate just got treased on the slants play. But now the game is tied with less than two minutes remaining. I'm returning this ball. Let's see if we can make some shake as I break that tackle and then get taken down. And we end up not seeing the field again and end up seeing a L on the schedule as we lose that game 21 to 14. I had six tackles and yeah. That's it. Now we're facing Eastern Michigan next. This should be a pretty evenly matched game. And then you take a look at their record and realize they're in 0-7. This should and could end up being a blowout right here. As on third and four, they hit a check down, which ends up getting them a first down. Then on second and eight, they hit the running back, cuts to the outside. Or is that the quarterback? I don't even know. But on first and 10 here, their quarterback hits the check down. And I see that and I'm on that, getting that tackle right there. And on first and 10, our defense read that play beautifully, blowing it up, forcing a third and 15 here, which they almost convert. But we luckily stopped them two yards short, forcing them to take that field goal. We start the second quarter off back on defense here as they pick up an 11-yard run right there, getting them a fresh set of downs where they will end up moving the chains again as they pick up another 13 yards right there. And then on second 12, I'm all up on that as he's dragging me a little, but we get him down. Bringing their team to a 39 situation where their QB just lobs the ball up and what was a risky, risky ass play and should have been picked off. But they ended that drive off with a field goal. And now we're back on defense here, nearing the end of the first half, second and 15. I'm dragging him out of bounds, bringing them to a third and 12 here where he has it to one of his receivers. And my team is all up on that, making sure he doesn't convert by any means possible having them and forcing them to take another field goal, which brings the score now to nine to seven. We're down by two and we got to do something about that as I'm not comfortable being down to a team that's 0-7 walking into those locker rooms for halftime as my teammate gets that interception right here and what could be a huge momentum boost and get us hopefully in the lead. And it does as we start the second half off up 14 to nine as I was bringing the ball back and then just got absolutely popped right there. And now starting off here, second and two, their QB just throws up a jump ball and his receiver came down with it. I, I got to respect that. And I'm happy it wasn't on me. That's for sure. But then on 36, our boys inside the box made the play right there, forcing that fourth down. And now beginning the fourth quarter here, we're sitting pretty comfortable up 12 points as I run straight past the running back here. But then on second and three, our defense continues doing what we do best, which is dominate. And then on second and four, I had a beautiful hit stick opportunity right there, but I just ran straight past the receiver. And then look at me just chilling, doing nothing while my teammate is putting belt to ass, forcing that fumble right there and getting possession off of that and basically making this game over, finishing it off and ending it as we win 28 to 9 and then stop this bum right here. As they get this last second play off and I just run straight by him, but come back to run my wrongs and run him down and end the game. From an overall standpoint, we played amazing today, having two interceptions, going three and one and making a bunch of important and vital tackles. And now we'll be facing Georgia Southern next week. So be sure to stay tuned for that. It's the boy King Henley. I'm going to catch y'all. Bye, me know.